What is up, Total Excellence? So, dudes, tonight I'm going to be coloring Mother. Mother is pretty much based on the upcoming graphic novel, Mavericks Origin Volume 1. <clears throat> and here is Mother right now, and she looks totally epic. The art was done by Luke Stone, and pretty much, you know, Luke hit it out of the park with this piece, and I can't wait to color this for the stream, guys. So, <clears throat> uh, just keep your thoughts and prayers for uh, Frequency Girl, because um, they put on the, they put out a tweet saying that uh, Frequency Girl wasn't feeling too good, and they usually do um, karaoke night on this day on Sunday, I believe like maybe seven seven Eastern time if I'm not if, if I'm correct, but yeah, but. You know, they're going to take a two-week break, which they most definitely deserve because they work their butts off doing these daily streams, uh, just help promote upcoming uh, campaigns for comics and graphic novels. And, you know, they do a fantastic job doing interviews and stuff. Uh, but you know what? Let me put down in the comments for you to join the emailing list for their Indiegogo. Because I can't wait to get their book once they launch. But enough of my speaking. You, you don't want to see my face. All you want to see me is the color. So that's what I'm going to be doing, dudes. All right? So I'll be disappearing in three, two, one. A poof. All right, dudes. So don't usually stream at this time, <laughs> obviously. But, you know. A lot of things has popped up that prevented me for doing my usual time. No, I'm going to be changing up my format from live streaming to just pre-record because, you know, at least with Flip Studio's um, time lapse, I think it's going to make it much more easier for me to uh, just pretty much just get everything going. So right now I'm just putting everything together with our coloring scheme. I might change it up. I think that'll be good. Get going. Do this really quick. So just putting these colors together. Let me just select everything. See how this will go. She looks like she's having like a freaking sunburn. I think. Try this color. Okay, not bad. I think she has more pale white. I'm gonna look at the reference. Okay, she's kind of like. She kind of has like a tan going on. Those are the tattoo references. Yeah, but she has like a little bit of a tan. So I think what what we'll do is we'll mess around. Okay, that's too dark, but we will mess around once we go to shading and stuff. I think what we'll do. Okay, that looks way better now. So, go and do that really quick. And then, let's go color that. And this. I'm going to go use the lasso tool and round it up. Okay, awesome. And then, pretty much, our gear. It's pretty much camo, so it's gonna be like more of a darker, darker green, like camo green. Go and color all of this. Ooh, I gotta watch out with the chains too, which are gray, as I believe they should be gray. Could be wrong, but. Go 
color, color that. And those are two I'm going to have some involvement as well. With this campaign as well. They sent me the art and stuff. So, for now, I'm just coloring it. Just doing the flat process, and pretty much the art is kind of rough in a way, where uh, it seems like it's kind of hard because the uh, line work isn't really sharp, so I have to like get all of that. Um, how can I say? If, if like the line work kind of feels like it's done out of pencil, but I think it may be because the artist does it traditionally. As far as how I interpret it when I receive the art. So, but you know, I want to make sure that I make sure it looks at its best once the creators receive it. And, you know, hopefully they like it. If they want to make changes, and we'll most definitely make those changes. Pretty much like this character. I like her character design, mother. Wonder why they give her. I mean, it might be a military nickname, but you know, we might know what her origins is for Mavericks. But yeah, but these guys, man, they do a fantastic job on their YouTube channel. Uh, let me make. To a pin clip studio. I might change it later. Call it Ichthys Coloring. My file. So there we go. Okay, now. Blue is. Okay, so everything is pretty much green. Give her an olive green. Just want to make sure that I get everything nook and cranny. No, oh, super late too, so I won't be expecting anyone to pop on. Oh shoot! I got two people. <laughs> what up, Jetfire? Hello there. What is up, uh, Kimiko Five Seventy Five? How you dudes doing tonight? Thanks for coming by the stream, dudes. Hope you guys enjoyed your Sunday night. Well, actually, your your weekend period. <laughs> Mine has been excellent. It's been busy, but you know, it's nothing new. Got to enjoy. My weekend a bit. You know. Still been a bit hectic and crazy, but what matters is, you know, got the day. Got everything I need to get things done for the day. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so all right, so looking at this, it's more of a top, so we'll we'll stop it there, and then I'll color the character skin to that selected color I chose. Now, Yo, what's up, Bill Jersey? Thought I'd stop in for a minute and say hi. That's a sweet art piece. Yeah, thank you, dude. Uh, the art was done by Luke Stone. 
Um, he pretty much has a series going on called Hybrids. I think his campaign is still up, or maybe he has it on in demand. So if you like supernatural stuff and superheroes, you can go and check out Luke. But Luke did a fantastic job on this piece. His line work is pretty solid, so it makes it super easy for me to color. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, no, Luke Stone really did a great job. Let's see. I'm doing good. Was watching it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, dude. Okay. How's your week? Good, sir. My week has been excellent, dude. This has been, you know, it's been very occupied. A lot of things have been popping up. And, you know, Sunday was a day where I just wanted to rest because, oh, man, there was just so much things. <laughs> but, you know. I got to rest up and did just a few minor things. I woke up early to go out walking and just, you know, have a moment of just self-reflect and, you know, enjoy my surroundings. That's what I mostly enjoy. Let me see. So, yeah, dudes, thanks for asking. Uh, Kimiko and Jeff Fire. See, by the way, call me after stream. Yeah. I'll most definitely do, dude. Hopefully it's not too late, <laughs> you know. I usually get these streams done like maybe an hour, depending on my speed. Let's see, Nicholas Mueller, this is going to look so good. Thank you so much, Nick. How you doing, Nick? Can't wait to color this, too. I got a reference sheet, so. Mother looks so freaking epic. So we'll most definitely have fun with her. Let me, see, let me look at feel. Okay, well, she has. She definitely has blonde hair, so. What I'll do is get some, some colors that I think would pass as blonde hair. So I think. Dude, this got. This is not blonde hair, this is mustard hair. <laughs> Kind of like, I don't know, this yellow I have in my personal palette looks like I had grabbed it from McDonald's or something. Kind of like the gold Archer M. It's kind of like that. Let's see. Oh, I, most importantly, got to color these eyebrows, dude. That's the most important part. But they, thank you, dude, so much for watching the stream. And those that are watching pre recorded, truly appreciate it as well. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. Ooh. Missed the spot. Bam. All right. Now, go and use a bucket tool. Just continue coloring. All the little details here and there. Yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't know who might be the person that will officially... Uh, We'll officially color this pin up, but this looks freaking awesome. Okay, now just color in this. Right now I'm just zooming in so that way I get all these little little white stuff going on. Once I finish doing the flats, that's when I can just change up the hair color, right? And now we'll just I think I'll make a little bit more lighter.
Absolutely freaking digging this so far, guys. Oh, God. Why the sudden switch? <laughs> That's funny. Let me see. Bam. So, yeah, dudes, I'm pretty excited. Um, I remember when I was on their channel, and it was like, um, it was one of those days where I think it was like, uh, open mic night type of things and I got to chat with them and stuff behind the scenes and they showed me the art and stuff and pretty much you know pretty much a military type of story where you know it's pretty much like Gundam if I, if I, <laughs> if I said it correctly I, I grew up saying Gundam my whole entire life but apparently it's been pronounced wrong is Gundam or something Let me see, Bill Jersey. Uh, where can I find your rates and commission info, sir? <laughs> um, so far, I'm just only taking in like coloring commissions, but I do do drawing commissions as well. I just haven't set up a rate for it yet. <clears throat> coloring commissions, you know. Um, I'll hit you up, Bill, on through the DMs, and I'll give you my rates for like doing coloring and uh, drawing and stuff. So yeah, dude, I will hit you up, Bill. Uh, let me see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. That is a nice drawing. I love the colors. Oh yeah, yeah. So the colors are, have been done by Garrett. Garrett is the artist of Mavericks, and he and he's doing everything. He's doing the art and colors, and he's doing, he did a fantastic job. I'm pretty excited for for um. Garrett and Aaron, what they're working on, so it's pretty dope. Bill Jersey. Yeah, no problem, dude. Most definitely, man. You did a fantastic dude, you did a fantastic job with um with um Sunchild, man. I I'm kinda jealous. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm kinda jealous. Like, man, you're you get you get to you like you have the bragging rights to say like you're the first dude to do um, uh, Sun Child. But you did a phenomenal job, man, when you did the art contest for Volume tomb, uh, tomb 2 for Demon Hunter Raven with um, Violet. That was so dope, man. It was an intense voting. <laughs> you were tied up with somebody. I honestly forgot who won, but, dude, like, your Violet pinup was fantastic. And your colors, oof, man. Like that's when I when I saw your your stuff, man. That's when I knew I gotta I gotta you know work twice as hard. Let me see. Anything? I don't know if I have already. <laughs> I don't know if I already answered this. My brain is like. <laughs> but um, anything interesting happened? If I can remember what the heck even happened. <laughs> but um. Ooh, I got like, um, so I forgot what website I even got it from, <laughs> but, um, I was able to find a, um, a website and it's a legitimate website too. Like it, ha it was under like, um, Forbes magazine, like all the big news outlet. And it's basically like an alternative as far as I've been, how I read these blog posts that they are credited. Um, Pretty much like uh, they are like an alternative to eBay. And so I found this online store where uh, you can – the seller sells like uh, pretty much like pre-recorded like old shows that have been canceled and they were never been um, – they never distributed and – just was it distributed – yeah, distributed any DVDs. Like, let's say, can't. 
Okay, so pretty much they have this show that I really loved and like it it ended like so shortly. Um, it's called Safe Harbor. So what this seller does is he keeps pre-recorded uh, of shows, right? So Safe Harbor is a really good example because I, I love that show. Um, <laughs> so pretty much Safe Harbor is like uh, 10 episodes. It was made from 1999, so it's pretty old, very old. But they have a great cast. Um, pretty much the main actors are Rue McClanahan from Golden Girls and Gregory Harrison. I do believe I said it correctly. And um, pretty much what hooked me was Rue McClanahan and uh, he play and Christopher Kamen Lee, who plays one of the sons of uh, Gregory Harrison's character. So pretty much it's pretty much a show where a uh, widowed father who's raising his kids by himself, that the wife was murdered. I mean, they revealed in the first episode, but... Um, but, you know, widow father living in a motel that his mother owns. And then um, pretty much, you know, they just, it's a very heartfelt, a, a little bit wacky. <laughs> I'll say that much. It's a little wacky story-wise. And what's funny, too, is it's um, the sister show of Seventh Heaven. And I didn't, I like, I looked into, like, old blog posts about it. Or not blog posts, I would say. I think news outlets that it had like this pre, uh, pre, uh, what's it called? Um, like they have this, they, this, they just pretty much like have this thought process, like, oh, it's gonna be, you know, a Seventh Heaven clone, since you know, basically, uh, Brandon Hampton was it Brenda Hampton, who is basically directing and producing the show. Is basically the you know the same person that did Seventh Heaven, so they think it was going to be a Seventh Heaven clone, and you know obviously it wasn't. I mean, it's a little more heartfelt compared to Seventh Heaven because I've watched Seventh Heaven, and you know I'm pretty <laughs> I'm pretty late in the game. I never watched Seventh Heaven when I was younger. I saw maybe snippets of it when I think they showcased it on Hallmark. I could be wrong. Maybe it's even Lifetime. But, um, I remember I would watch, like, maybe snippets of it, but, um, yeah, no, I was, I don't know, it was, it was, like, I don't know, it did not click to me. Now it clicks to me, after 20, 20 plus years later, is when I finally got into it, and, um, I started watching Seventh Heaven, like, on Hulu, so, you know, I don't need to worry about, you know, commercials and stuff. <laughs> But I remember I would get so annoyed with all of these commercials of Seventh Heaven. <laughs> now I'm a fan of it. Funny enough, ironically, right? So, yeah. So Primus. Uh, so so this seller sells like old shows, like old cancel shows that you know you won't be able to get. Uh, DVD and stuff, and I was so impressed. And you know, I looked at the reviews, and the reviews seem legitimate. Most of it is pro positive. You know, I I would know if something is a scam when you know there'll be like maybe a huge load of negatives, right? Written negative review, and somehow they might have like maybe four or five positive reviews, but but no, like this seems legitimate. And, you know, the seller is very uh, responsive, even the negative ones. <laughs> and, um, yeah, no. And they did a phenomenal – I was like, you know, because of COVID, like, you know, I, I expected it to come much later. But I got the DVD, like, maybe – yeah, like, yesterday. And I purchased the DVD, like, maybe uh, maybe two months ago, I believe. Yeah, I believe I – purchase it two months ago so you know i i knew i wasn't gonna <laughs> gonna see it because of covid and stuff but no man i 
I received it way sooner than expected. And I was so surprised with the quality. Like they they did everything, man. They did they created a menu. I got two discs of it, and each disc carries uh five episodes, and the show only has like um has ten episodes, so it's perfect. And what was odd was um what was odd is that the first two episodes was pretty high quality stuff. I and um like I was already ready to like see it like in um like you know standard you know SD and stuff but holy crap man it was like high like the first two episodes was like HD. I w I'm not even kidding, like it was like HD quality stuff, but like once I go maybe past let's say uh I think once I go to episode four is when like I see like the WB logo and I got to see <laughs> I got to see like all these old um all the ads and stuff from God from back in the nineties. I'm like, oh my god. And I'll be like, wow, I remember seeing this. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, no, and then what's so awesome too is that they even have like um like playbacks and stuff of the ads. So pretty much, man, it's like you can never go wrong with that. So I was pretty I was pretty impressed by it. So at least I'll have something for uh, Christopher Cayman Lee to sign once he goes down here in South Florida. Oh my god, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to uh, color, but yeah, but the next one I will most definitely would purchase from them would be a Summerland, and that's another show where it's it, it is phenomenal. Summerland is fantastic. You can actually see the episodes on YouTube. Uh, pretty much, Summerland is based off of Lori Lawton. Lori Lawton was the one who pitched it to WB. And WB was back then in the '90s and early 2000s. Like it was the show to watch, like drama, <laughs> and um, and it Summerland was such a fantastic show. Let's see. Let me go and check on the chat. Is it Bill Jersey? It'll be cool to work with you, Nick and Paul again in the future. I appreciate the kind words. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, no, I I see um Paul shouting you out in the tweets. So yeah, man. I hope to see more of your work, dude. So yeah, man. Just keep on the grind, just network and stuff. That's my that's my uh two cents. You know, create a YouTube channel if you if you can or make the time. I honestly do this for like once a week. Just make one video a week, and you would just be surprised of how much I've got, like I gained. Like maybe I think once I went started doing YouTube, I got like uh, twenty subscribers, and I, I was blown away. Twenty subscribers for my first ever stream. So. Yeah, man, just network, you know, get, be cool, get to be nice with everyone <clears throat> in the comic scene because, you know, I, I do plan on making a video <laughs> of uh, top top five things to expect in the, indie, in the indie comic scene. So I do plan on doing a video like that. And, but, you know, something fun, something fun and funny, but something that is grounded as well. Let me see Jeff Fire favorite panel in any comic. Oh my god. <laughs> um oh my god, dude. Favorite panel in any comic. Ah oh, man, what would it be? 
favorite panel in the comic. You know, it's hard to think <laughs> while you got to color this. I'll say that much. Um, what is her gloves? Looks like it's navy green too. So shoot, man. Um, I might darken a little bit more. So that way, kind of looks dope. Um, gosh dang it, favorite panel. Favorite panel. I like this dark green though. It looks dope. Um, favorite panel. Honestly, I love splash pages. <laughs> so that's easy. Uh, splash pages can literally be uh, literally a full page. Um, gosh dang it, what would it be though? Favorite panel. That's a really great question. Uh, Jetfire. Gosh dang it. <sighs> <laughs> You're killing me here, man. Thinking too hard, and I'm smelling like smoke coming out of my freaking skull. Um, favorite panel, man. I feel like I want to grab a comic and actually see it. Okay, my favorite, my favorite uh, splash page. My favorite panel is from Night of the Golden Sun. And it's a beautiful comic, guys. I'm telling you, um, I totally recommend it. Uh, Knights of the Golden Sun is basically like uh, pretty much a moment when uh, God left his throne. And it was pretty much like um, basically like biblical character angels from the Bible. And pretty much like uh, I even I even met the, the, uh, the writer and creator. Mark London, who also is the founder of uh, Mad Cave Studios, and he's a really cool dude and stuff. And pretty much, um, I gotta meet him and stuff. He's a pretty cool dude. What color would it be? Be her boots. <laughs> and um, let me look at my references because it's what it looks like. It could be black so we'll play around with that we'll be black we'll be black boots and um it's a really cool book right and so this Bro, what, what are you trying to do? Because he was literally going to poison... Um, gosh, what was the character's name in the Bible? But I think I'll... Let me go and Google it really quick. Because it is a phenomenal splash page. I'll tell you that. Like, the artist and the colorist for who they worked... That they worked on this, it was fantastic. And I totally recommend reading a dude's Knights of the Golden Sun. So that way you guys know exactly what the heck I'm talking about. Ooh, there we go. I found it. It is so freaking dope. Let me go in. All right, so let me just swap really quick because now Jeff Fire freaking is going to put me on like commercial break. <laughs> so forgive me for one second, guys. Let me share screen really quick. Look at that bad boy. Does not look like a gorgeous freaking splash page. Look at that, man. Freaking gorgeous. I'm telling you, dudes, this is a masterpiece. Masterpiece. But yeah, man. Uh, nice of the Golden Sun. 
This is a full page I did for the Knights of the Golden Sun comic, a world created by Mad Cave Studios. So yeah, dudes, uh, you can get, you can actually get the, uh, get the, oh my god, I can't even talk right now, graphic novel, where you can literally get <clears throat> volume one, volume one, which is all the stories of Knights of the Golden Sun in Comicsology. I totally recommend it, guys. It's a fantastic read. So. Enough of that. We're going back to what I usually do, and that's coloring. But I wanted to share that because that looks so dope. So, commercial break over. <laughs> and also, sign up to the emailing list of Mavericks Origin Volume 1. Yo, what's up, Skull Diamond? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing excellent, man. I'm super excited for uh, Metal Saga. Dude, I'm just trying to remember everything right now because my, my brain is poo-poo today. But, you know, today was a good day. It was my rest day. So yeah, Fire says, uh, One of my favorite panel is when Darth Vader was fighting Darth Maul. It's not canon, but it was so cool. And he said, at the end, gave me chills. <laughs> oh, really? That's dope. <laughs> Heavy Saga. Okay, okay. Heavy Saga. Sorry about that, buddy. I'm excited for Heavy Saga, dude. What's the game plan on that one, man? Are you going to go to crowdfunding, or are you trying to, like... Show like maybe like a previews of the book. Pretty excited, dude. So, anyways, I'm gonna disappear, dudes. Toodles. Bam. Back to coloring. Go. All right now. Hey, yeah, dudes! Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. You guys, ooze of excellence as always. Remember to stay excellent, dudes. And uh, yeah, man. We're gonna give her belt black. Black. Gosh dang, what could I color her gun though? So cool. Let's see, there's something around her thing though. As far as what I see on my references, it doesn't show what's around her thing, so we'll, we'll color it black just to play safe. Looks pretty dope though. Bam. Go and do that. Bam, bam. I think I'll color her pouches like maybe brownish. Dark brown. As you know. I don't like to keep things consistent. Well, not consistent, but it's kind of like the same coloring scheme. 
feel like want to play around with that. So we'll give her pouches brown just to make it more pop. And also a shout out to, to uh, <clears throat> Frequency Girl for sending me this because I'm just so happy I get to color indie stuff, the mainstream, honestly. But, you know, I love to showcase other creators, create our own characters and hell, even like showcase their comics and stuff. I mean, I'm basically a creator as well. I, you know, want to make some connections. I get to know peeps, you know. But you'd be surprised that <laughs> I would just ask them, hey, like, I have a channel where I get to color. So, you know, everyone will know what the heck, you know, your character is. But you'd be surprised, man. I would, I would get no response or they'll just say they're too busy and they can't send it to me or something. I don't know. It's very odd. Indie community is kind of odd, but you know, at some point in time, they will respond back to me and give me something. Well, I'll try a little harder. It's maybe even push a little bit, push and nudge, maybe. So the color this brown. Let me see. Bill Jersey says, uh, "Love me some Blanche Devroch." Who the heck is that? <laughs> Can you elaborate uh, elaborate with me, Bill? I have no clue who that is, so forgive me for my lack of knowledge for great artists. There are so many creators that. I have yet to discover, and once I discover them, man, I'm just blown away. Oh, no. That's that's not what I wanted. Oh, way huge no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Gosh dang it. There I go again. Got to color pick that. And there's a few spots here. Let's see, okay, there's her leg. I'll make sure I don't get lost. Oof, excuse me.
Rue McClanahan and Golden Girls. Oh my god, that's a that's her character's name. Gosh dang it, man. See, I need to I need to like go back in the Golden Girls train, man. I watched Golden Girls with my mom. I forgot which channel it was that they showcased the most. I think it's Hallmark. No, I don't know why I always think it's Hallmark <laughs> every freaking time. Because I know Hallmark is very conservative, so I know few episodes in Golden Girls they wouldn't showcase it on their channel. But I know for a fact they they would showcase reruns on a certain channel. I just can't remember because it's 20 odd years ago. But yeah, man. I need to go back watching Golden Girls again. I think Target is even selling like t-shirts, so I might even snag a shirt or two. Maybe a hoodie. <laughs> Yo, we got Jin Gingerton in the house. Ahoy there. Glad to see you're still up, bro. Oh, man. Tell me about it. <laughs> A lot of things that was happening behind the scenes. Let's see. I'm going to hang out a while. I work on the campaign. Uh, how's everyone? Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, dudes. Yeah, so go and check out Jin Gingerton's. Uh, follow Patchworks because they have a campaign going on. Um, I've, I've already seen everything from behind the scenes. They they commissioned a voiceover, voiceover for the campaign for their trailer. It's got dope animation going on too, so you can't can't go wrong with that. Is Kimiko fifty seven five says, uh, "Well, I'm out, guys. Got to work tomorrow night, guys. Stay safe, wash hands." <laughs> All right, Kimiko. Thanks for coming by the stream, dude. Really appreciate it. Good night, dude. Oh, man. So, yeah, Ginge, I'm doing excellent, man. See, thank you, bro. Yeah, no, dude. Of course, man. Yeah, so just follow Patchworks Comics, guys. And you will not be disappointed. Uh, I, I guarantee you, you won't. Because they hired some really great talent. I even got to see some pages on the Discord. It's a secret Discord. I can't say anymore. But, you know, as I can say, uh, it's more of a scouting. <laughs> they basically scout talent. And it's exclusive on the Discord. So I can't say anymore, guys. I can't say anymore. For all, no for all I know, I might have... Um, Tarnish my NDA agreement with um, Ginge over here. So yeah, I'll help you out, Ginge, really quick. Okay, patch. Yeah, okay, yeah. Same patchwork comics. Here's our Twitter dudes. Bam, sent the link. Here's the, uh, nah, you're still good. <laughs> Once you're a made man, you're in. <laughs> you see, we're like the Olive Garden minus the diarrhea. When you're here, your family. <laughs> oh my God. He promised unlimited breadstick, guys.
let me all righty so what the heck is this sorry dude i'm getting like this weird pop-up on my end that i said no but you know no means no so stop stop doing that <laughs> Let me see. Right now I'm just doing little little coloring here and there. All right, time to lace up, guys. All right, let me check on the chat dudes. <clears throat> let me see. Uh, thank you, buddy. Uh, thanks, Bill Jersey, for the... Oh, you're awesome, Bill. Thanks for following, dude. Let me see. Joe Pesci was a made man. Just saying. <laughs> I agree, man. I agree. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Philman X? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Hope you're doing excellent, dude. How are you doing, Phil? Thanks for coming by this stream. Let me see. Uh, doing okay. Just staying busy. Had Crom to co-host all weekend. 
I'm trying to catch up on throwing down some pixels myself. Oh, yeah, dude. You're doing pixel art now, man. It's pretty dope, man. And so he pops is the man for having that. And you as well, Phil. <laughs> yeah, no, Phil is awesome, man. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, just fixing all the little details. Go. All right. Let's lift this up. We'll color this a little bit more black. I'll be right back. All right, dudes, I'm back. See? Uh, no, I just call it throwing down pixels. I'm digital coloring a page right now, too. Oh, that's awesome, dude. What project are you working on, man? Still, congratulations, man. Let's see, let me lighten up. Give the change. That. Then we'll color the chain. One more of the dog tag. Go and color the dog tag here.
right, right now I'm just grabbing all the little little chain balls or whatever the heck it's called. Color all of that gray. Bam. There we go. Hey, looking dope, looking dope. That's the name of the game. Try to make everything look cool and dope. Oops, there we go. We'll darken that a little bit. Here. And I'll do next is grab lasso tool just to get all the little details here and there. So that way, get rid of all these little snowflakes. Bam. Uh oh. See what I mean? Snowflake and snowflake. And delete that. Bam. Oops. See, yeah, I overdid it. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, and then let's grab that. Yo, we got the creator in the house, Nefarious. Bruh, just tuned in this looks so good ah uh, thank you so much nefarious i'm glad you're liking it so far man not even close of done film nx uh thanks it's a book called white devil from over at silverline comic I'm down to like two pages and it's done and ready to go oh that's awesome man congrats dude that's fantastic 
We got Neo Star Productions in the house. The brilliant star that shines through the night. The jagged rock in the boot of evil. Riser Man stands before you. Freaking love reading these. How you doing, Neo? So, you said, so who's G.I. Jane up there? That is Mother from, <clears throat> from the upcoming graphic novel uh, Maverick's Origin Volume 1, which is the creator for, which, you know, creators Nefarious and Garrett. So just sign up to their Indiegogo. I believe Nefarious already. Put down the link, but just in case, I want to make sure that I'm sharing the link too. So that way, for you guys who haven't already, let me put down the link. Bam! Oh, shoot. All right. Nefarious is sharing that too. Oh, what? That's Teresa Mayweather, aka Mother, that's drawn by Luke Stone. Yeah, man, Luke did a fantastic job. His line work is solid, man. As he sees the main character in my book, uh, Mavericks, launching July 22nd. What? Dude, this is like a day after my birthday. <laughs> my birthday is literally July 21st. I'm so excited, man. Is he? So Luke did hybrids and Voodoo Nation. Yeah, that's a new one that he just got picked up for. See, Nefarious. Oh, man, this is a real honor to have you color it. Dude, it's an honor for me to even color this, man. So thank you, man. How's um, Frequency Girl doing so far, Nefarious? How's the wifey? <laughs> Hope she's doing good so far. Enjoy your enjoy your break, guys, because you you guys deserve it, man. You do you got again, guys. These guys do a phenomenal job shooting interviews for creators and their campaigns and the fairies. I don't know, man. The fairies is a phenomenal uh, host and shooting interviews, man. He makes like he's he, he's a great listener and he shoots really good questions that I'm like, dang, man. It's like, that's pretty dope. But yeah, dude. My fairies, man. Thanks. Thanks for having me color this, man. This looks fantastic. All right. Let me go in. Freaking. Let me actually darken this a little bit more. I feel like it's a little too light for my taste. We go a little more darker because I don't want to blend too much in with the other brown. Okay, I like this brown, so we'll stick with that. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my headphones. Because every time I press it in for my uh, left ear, it just slowly pops out. And I can literally hear the process of my earphone, like, going to pop out. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, but no, Luke, Luke did a phenomenal job at this. I love coloring Luke's stuff. Slime work is solid. What's awesome about sci fi guys is I can color however the heck I want to color this guy. <laughs> it's the best part of sci fi. Like, there's no, there's no right or wrong answer because how the heck would you know? Are you from the future? I hope so. <laughs> I 
there you go. Let's just give some brown here, here. I'm a sucker for sci-fi, guys. I'll tell you that much. I love sci-fi, supernatural, and fantasy. And if you mix those, all those genres together, man, I boom, you got me. You got me. Just like this book, you got like freaking mechs, military. So I'm I'm sold. You know, Tom Class Tom Clancy has missed his chance for this one. And hopefully once this book launches, man, I will most definitely would be honored to invite Nefarious and Garrett onto my show. So we'll get some piece of pie. Just a, just a smudge, just a smidge of what we'll get from Mavericks and what to expect from it. So, I is excited. I'm going to go and save my progress <laughs> just in case if something happens. And you see, what color is the sky in your world, uh, Ichthus? The color of my sky? The color of my sky would be. It would be royal purple. The color of my sky is royal purple. What about your, yours, Neo? What's the color in your sky? The color, color in my sky is, is royal purple. Yo, we got Peter Retro Palmiotti in the house. Oh, sweet. You're doing a piece for Global Frequency? Yes, sir. I most definitely do. <clears throat> I won't say I'm like the official colorist for this piece, but I am coloring a piece for Mavericks. It's going to take a little longer because the um, pencil work is pretty it's pretty rough, so it's not like clean. Uh, the line work isn't really clean, but, but I'm going to get it done regardless. This one, whoever's the colors for this piece, the official piece, you know, congrats to them. But... They might get fired if I do it better. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, but this is dope. Go and color her lips. I'm not even like in the shading process. I'm still flatting, dudes. How far are we so far in the stream? We're already an hour and 15 minutes, dudes. But you know, I don't mind doing an all nighter. Even though I work tomorrow. <laughs> Still, we go all night long. Let me see. Oh, God. That's not the color I wanted. This is the color I wanted. Go. Oh, oopsies, that's not the color. 
thought that was a color, but it's actually not. Oh, let me go in. Let's color the little rubble here. Heck, there we go. Yeah, it's gonna take a little more time since I gotta color the background than just the character. It's all good, dudes. All good. You got it covered. Hire Ichthus. Do it. <laughs> Do it. They already hired me, guys. It's just a different piece. But who knows? Who knows? Is he? I was just messing with you, Ichthus. I was referencing a level in the game, Psychonauts. Ooh, dude, Psychonauts is such a good game. Man, dude. Oh, you know what? Now I remember. Yeah, dude. Funny enough, man, it's, um, funny enough, when you asked me that question, like, I literally got, I started looking, uh, thinking about the documentary that Double Fine did. It's like a mini documentary focused on, like, the Psychonauts, so I had a feeling it, it was, I had a feeling, like, you were referring it to that, but I'm like, ah, it might be a common thing. But now that you said that, I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I, I really enjoy watching those documentaries by Double Fine and game development. I wanna, I, I'll be honest with you, dude. I'm starting to get the game development vibe again. I mean, what is it? I'm getting like the game developer bite again. But, you know, I need to start coding again. And now with the internet and these new game developers, like, honestly, like, once I started, um, what is it? Like, once I started looking at these, uh, uh, what is it, tutorials for, like, Unity and stuff, because I'm going to jump back to Unity. Because, it, again, it's a learning curve, but can never go wrong with the asset store the things that they offer and the templates man the templates are the thing that really uh is what gets me hooked i bought so many freaking templates guys it's ridiculous <laughs> but um surprisingly even all of the templates i purchased man it turns like they're no longer good because the uh, creators who create the templates like you know it's not it's is no good no more. It's no longer up to date, so I can't even use it for the for the newest um, newest version of Unity, which is a bummer. And um, yeah, dude, it's. Oh my god, why can't this freaking lasso tool work? There you go. And, um, gosh dang it. Okay, now I remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I had a brain fart, guys, forgive me. But, um, yeah, like all the templates I purchased a long time ago, I stopped doing game development at, in 2018. So, you know, <laughs> funny enough, once I jumped onto comics is when it started blowing up. So I, my timing was pretty, pretty good. I think it was the same time too as I started following Tyler. I know I, I followed Tyler. I don't know if it's 2018, maybe it's a year after. I could be wrong, but I know I followed Tyler from Drawn Talk. 
in um, maybe maybe um, I know it was around the December. I remember the I remember the stream was um, about comics and religion and how they could coexist with each other. <clears throat> and that's when I discovered. I didn't even know. Like I thought maybe like the drawn talk channel was done. Because I didn't see any like anything new and stuff, or may or maybe I didn't really pay close attention to it. But I think at some point I must have subscribed to it or something. Maybe I have no clue. I. But um, you know that's when I saw Tyler and and his old apartment at the time. It's way different now where he lives, but you know his apartment at the time and. And um, pretty much the other creator. So it was it was really interesting. Um, it was a really interesting topic. I enjoy it because I was a Christian, and um, you know I wanted to create a faith based type of story. That you know there's a there's like you know there's a hidden philosophy within the you know within the Christianity kind of like. I want to do it like how um, the creator of Narnia, freaking, I wish I remember what, because I suck at remembering names. It's, it is a given fact, dude. I suck at names. <laughs> Let me see. Is it C.S. Lewis? I think it's C.S. Lewis. Yes, it's C.S. Lewis. So... So pretty much like I want my stories to be kind of like C.S. Lewis with Narnia where like, you know, there's a hidden message. And if you, if you know, I think in the surface level, it's well hidden, but there's some philosophies. So I do have a story like it that is, um, as a high fantasy with a mix of sci-fi. And there's like a lot of inspirations for it. Um, there's of course the Bible. <laughs> but also uh, the never ending story is one of those fantasies. Um, what else? What else was a, was a huge inspiration of it? Jack and Daxter was another th inspiration of it. Funny enough, the... Uh, the thought of it was um, was back in 2014 when I thought of this idea of a story. And um, I wanted to be a platformer at that time because, uh, well, not a platformer. Let me, let me paraphrase that. A 3D platformer okay just like da jack and daxter banjo and kazooie like all those great 3d platformers back in the good old days in video games and um you know i want to like do my own collect-a-thon 3d platformer and then um How can I say, like, pretty much like uh, the idea of it <clears throat> was pretty much like, like, you know, if the biblical, if I could like swap biblical characters with the major roles that the other biblical characters have, like, would their destiny s still be the same or... Or will it be different because of, of, um, of pretty much like what village that they were in at the time, uh, what were, you know, the villagers, what their thought process was and everything like that. Like I thought really, I thought pretty deep on this and also another thing too with the theme of fantasy you know, I got Blizzard's uh, art book 
and I was so blown away with um with these freaking di like these freaking digital paintings of World of Warcraft concept art. It just blows me away, man. You see, uh, Neo Star Production says, "Well, I had a lot. Let me see. I had to do a lot of research on Psycho Heroes. Oh, Psy Psycho Heroes, Psychic Heroes, a while back for Henshin Heroes Riser Man. Oh, okay. Hot Steel armed with justice. <laughs> you see, I follow like a dozen, uh, a dozen people a year. Oh, snap. That's dope." I follow like a dozen people. <laughs> oh my god, Peter. You're too much, man. Yeah, you beat me on that one. Shoot. A dozen people freaking weak. Gosh dang, man. And so you win this round, Palmiati. But the war <laughs> shall soon be mine. <laughs> I swear, Neil, you're too much, man. Speaking of religious work, I think I came up with a demon hunter on my own. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a platforms in mind too, pal. And it stars a puckish <laughs> little penguin. Oh my god. Let me see. When will you find the time for a new project like this? Sounds cool for sure. Most definitely, man. Um, you know, once maybe once I find the time to balance my projects around, because I got a I got a lineup of projects to do coloring work, which I'm pretty excited and I'm very grateful for. <clears throat> First of all, my main focus is to get uh, pro wrestling gators done. That's that's my major goal. That is my major goal to get done is pro wrestling gators. And pretty much then is either one based on, you know, if people like it, I might do a part two. I might do like three issues of it, maybe, or maybe two, depending on the feedback. And, um, let me see. And then, almost definitely will jump on the one that I shared with you guys on the stream. Well, right now is a working title. It's so far... What I thought of so far is Young Prophet. That's the working title. It might it might end up being official one because I can honestly not know what would be an alternative name for it. And pretty much like I wanted to adopt <clears throat> kind of like a Western type of style of manga. Because I do have you know, the art style I have in mind is going to be manga. So, you know, I don't think I need to worry about coloring per se, but, you know, it's kind of tempting. <laughs> it's tempting, I'll say that much. So almost every would make it into a graphic novel. But I would do, I do plan on like doing live streams and you know, showcasing, or maybe not even live streams. I might even, like, do pre-recorded videos. So that way I get, like, a natural viewership growth. And then I can, like, experiment hashtags and stuff and what would bring eyes and new readers and stuff. So the working title right now is Young Profit. So...
See, New Star Production says, I still say Blizzard needs a crossover fighting game. <laughs> Most definitely, dude. Oh my god. This one, I think, will make it a little bit more darker since it's a little bit at the back. So that way it shows not only the illustration, but also some depth. So let's go and do that really quick. The heck, there we go. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Actually, you know what? It looks legitimate though, gives depth. But I'll change this color back and this color. Also, dudes, uh, what is it? <clears throat> I do plan on like upgrading my uh, my stuff because <laughs> now that I'm getting some coloring commission work and stuff, <clears throat> and even while I'm on live streams too, like it's pretty awesome where you know people ask you what are your rates and you know asking you for work. It's pretty epic, man. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that much. That's pretty much. That was pretty much my mission when I started creating this YouTube channel is one, to give progress with, it, with myself as a colorist. <clears throat> so, you know, and uh, grow an audience. And, you know, hopefully I will get work because I have a YouTube channel and pretty much everything I thought and planned on pretty much worked out fantastic. So, you know, thank you guys so much. Those that you know, as, as to work with me and stuff, I truly do appreciate it. <clears throat> I know that, you know, it might take time for me to get things done due to my work because <laughs> I do have a labor intensive job as a doing landscaping and stuff, but I do plan on doing, you know, doing art full time so I can freaking like, you know, work under air conditioning <laughs> And not get rained on or the sun killing me in the process. So I do have goals to, you know, do art full time.
Jin, 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 Jin. Uh, oh, Blizzard. I'm tempted to get the D2 remaster, but I'm sure I'll get my feelings hurt. <laughs> that game was my jam back in the day. Oh, man, that's awesome, man. See, better yet, a Blizzard versus blank game, like Blizzard versus Atlas or Blizzard versus Capcom or something like that. I think, damn, who would be a good, I don't know, that's hard, though, because who the heck would be a good, uh, Gosh, what was a freaking company that basically bumped off Blizzard for the MMO? I think who who was the developers for? Um, oh my God, what was the game, dude? This is how long I have been out of playing video games. It's been such a long time, dude. It's it is freaking ridiculous. Uh oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to use my best friend, Google. League of Legends. That's the freaking game. I didn't even need to type it down. Yeah, the developers for League of Legends. It would be freaking World of Warcraft characters versus League of Legends characters. But, you know, it's going to be a messy... Uh, a freaking messy copyright issue. Because everyone wants a slice of pie because of their characters being used. See, if this is moving up in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Thank you, dude. Congrats, buddy. Buddy, you're kicking butt so far. Thank you so much, man. Peter Retro Palmia said, "It's hard to grow here on YouTube. I'm inching towards 1,000 at last. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Yeah, man. I can't wait for you to hit your 1,000, man. But yeah, you're right, man. YouTube is, especially now, like." It's just so many channels. <clears throat> I'm going to try and jump onto TikTok because TikTok is literally like, you know, since it's so fresh and new, you are there is a possibility that you'll trend. It's just that you got to do your homework and use certain songs and hashtags that would bring that attention and audience. And there's a lot of young people on TikTok so there is a potential readership gaining those fans because of the demographic. You see, I feel you ick this. I still work as a janitor. Hey, man, just, you know, just see it as, as something temporary, dude. That's what I, that, that's my mindset. Like, whatever you find annoying, um, just have that as your drive to having a reason to get out of it. Now, I'm not telling you to quit. <laughs> Don't do something extreme like that. I'm not telling you to quit your 9 to 5, but, you know, let that be um, your burning passion or, or a drive for you to get out, you know, and just be a full-time writer and, you know, and just network with other creators and you never know, man. Maybe Riser Man will be that book. Or that comic series. Or who knows man. You know you. You know you. And you know what you need to do. On your end. Or I don't know. You know. I I for sure can't. You know give you any tips or advice. Because I'm not there yet. But you know at least I can say like. You know we're we're going the same path. We're just trying to succeed. When the, within this creative world. <clears throat> See, uh, see, Peter Palmiotti says, art full-time is a challenge. I should get you on my channel, promote all you, <laughs> promote all you do, get you out, the, get you out, gosh dang it, man, I can barely read, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Peter, uh, get you out of that day job, yeah, man, thank you so much, Peter, yeah, man, whatever day that you want me to hang out, man, I'll do, I'm free on the weekends, so. But if there's a specific day on the weekdays, man, just let me know, and I will, I will most definitely will make it happen. I'm available at nighttime, and my time zone is in uh, Eastern Standard Time. Is Phil Max says, yeah, you got to do what you got to do as you get it going. You'll feel when it's time to go full bore. <laughs> is he? Don't get me wrong, Ick, this. 
cleaning toilets and floors is how I was able to pay for art commissions and comic paints. <laughs> oh, Neil, man, I love your attitude, dude. Just, can, just keep doing you, dude. Miss me, man. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, man. Especially working in, um, working in, working on the Flaw comic. It's pretty dope. Having a lot of fun. It has little challenges, but those challenges is what tests you as a, as an artist or a creative, and even as a colorist too. But you know, I'm pretty blessed that you know. Uh, Scott's taking, you know, taking a chance on me. And so far, he's very happy. And even he understands that, you know, of my, uh, pretty much my day job. Let's see. Gosh dang it. I keep getting wrapped up with my headphones. And so I'm pretty happy with the flock. It's a fun project, guys. <clears throat> if you guys haven't backed that already. I basically did everything in, that, in the flock campaign that I honestly did not even notice until like I look back on it. I did the poster that Elliot Rodriguez has drawn. I colored the postcards. Both coloring the postcards were a lot of fun. Uh, what else? I did a variant cover as well, guys. Make sure you get my variant color. Color. Variant cover. Um... Because right now it's an in demand right now, dudes. So once uh, <clears throat> and right now, what is it? I know that Scott said he's working on issue five. So once he's done with issue five, he's going to get issue six done, and then he's going to do a campaign for all three of the comics and also a uh, paperback for issues one through three for the catch up tier. So, dudes, once that variant cover is gone, guys, it's gone. So don't miss your chance, guys. And if you are a local here in Florida, at least, okay, let me specify because I don't get because I know I got one one dude who's here in Florida, my dude, uh, Ginge. <laughs> let me specify, Ginge. Don't, don't get upset with me, please. <laughs> Gotta do, I have to be my own PR guy. But um, if you are a local here in South Florida, okay, if you're a local here in South Florida, then you know, I'll make sure I'll we'll we'll do, I'll make sure I'll, you know I'll make something happen to sign the sign my variant cover <clears throat> or the comic since you know I'm doing issue three and two, so. I think regardless, <laughs> I'm going to end up signing your book because <laughs> I'm involved with it as well. It's, I don't know. It's funny. But, um, yeah, dudes, I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm very happy to be part of the Flock series. And, you know, Scott is very awesome. He's he's an awesome, awesome creator and collaborator. You know, he's, he's very happy with my progress because I want to get pages done. You know, I've... I will. I will. I forever am happy with. Uh, what is it? Oh my God, Kurt Michael Russell. Um, he's pretty much the guy that I did the. I enrolled with his uh, his coloring courses on Udemy, and those courses, man, they've helped me so much. Because this is the reason why I'm even coloring is because of him. 
and I've improved so much is because of following his courses and just paying close attention to it too. I mean, the ways that he teaches you in the courses is way better than what the information you'll get on YouTube. Because, yeah, yeah, I know YouTube is like an awesome resource that you can receive. But at the same time, you know, some of those resources can limit you and your speed. Yes, you know, some reductions, but seriously, pal, if I don't quit before September, I may actually be stuck with this job. Oh, no freaking way, dude. I hope not, man. I want you to level up, man. This is what we do in this in this uh, YouTube channel. We just cheer each other, cheer each other, freaking pump each other up, man. Freaking forget the nine to five. I want to get the heck out of it. <laughs> Gin Gingerton with a freaking palm tree, man. Because that's what we're known for in South Florida. is either the palm tree, alligator, or oranges, and the flamingo. Those four things. You see, Peter Retro Palmy I said, just message you a DM via Twitter. Oh, okay, Peter. Yeah, most definitely, dude. Um, if I don't respond to you after the stream... I most definitely will respond back to you tomorrow morning because I wake up super early. So, <laughs> let's see. Neil Star Productions says uh, Scott is the goose. He is the goose because he is the goose man. You see, and little umbrellas and mixed drinks. Yeah, you're right. Gosh dang it, Steve Ginge, you are the man. You are the Florida man. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, man. We are well known for little umbrellas with mixed alcoholic drinks. Let's see. In that case. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm excited with all you guys' project, man. Because for me, dudes, I have projects lined up for me, too, with coloring work. I'm surprised I'm not sleepy yet. <laughs> then again, I did I did take a lot of naps. That's literally my only day I'll take naps is Sunday. Saturday I just go freaking nuts. <laughs> Try to get as much done as I can. Let's see. Uh going All right, let me darken this a little bit more so that way it gives a depth perception
There we go. Oopsie daisies. There we go. Honestly, cannot wait to do highlights and shadow work. <laughs> That's the part that I'm very excited for once I'm done doing flats. Flats, I don't really much mind. I honestly don't know why. People would hire a flatter, but at the same time, I think it's just, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's just, you know, having the workload off of them. You see, the pro wrestling gators are a dope idea. I'm sure whatever story you come up with will be fun and entertaining. Those radical rogues are going to choke some of the indies and power bomb them. Into the swamp. That's dope. Judgment Knights of Thunder. Yeah, I like your PWG book, bro. And if you're ever accepting outside short stories, let me know. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. I want to give other talents... Uh, I want to give other... Indie talents, <clears throat> their uh, their spin on the Gators. I might do an anthology, but as far as I've the experiences I get from my peers, it's kind of like a headache in a way. I want to say a headache, but <clears throat> I think it's just based on people that, because um, you know everybody's different. It's as if you set a deadline for them. And let's say, like, if I set a deadline within a year, right, you know, it just gives them time and just, you know, whatever projects they're working on or this and that. <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I just rather just, just have it under my control in a way where, you know, if it's convenient for them, then, you know, hey, let's let's work on this. What's your... What is it? Uh, what is your rate? And whatever your rate is, I'll most definitely make sure that you get paid for it, you know? Because the last thing I want you guys to feel is I'm promising you something that it might not be profitable, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I rather respect your work and pay you respectfully how you want to be paid. So. That's the bottom line, because I'd said so. <laughs> See, what colors can I color the building? Hmm. Gosh dang it, I still have yet to color the gun. Oof, man.
I wish I color the building on the left of her. Uh, smoke is coming out, so I'll give it like a darker brown, maybe. I'll give it a darker brown, like kind of like a burnt pop tart. Yeah, burnt pop tart. Damn, that's too dark though. Gosh dang, man, I'm brutal. Gotta at least show some kind of life. I wonder how these colors, like, I wonder what's the rate for a flatter. You see, Peter Retro Palmiotti says, I'm going to wind down after a long day. Keep on rocking and chat with you soon. Well, definitely, Peter. Thank you so much, man. Night, all. Night, chat. Night, Peter. Have an excellent night, dude. Is he? Oh, yeah, bro. It's your story, of course. Not trying to step your toes. Oh, no, dude. I don't feel like you're stepping on my toes at all, buddy. Um, your universe looks awesome, but I was just jabbering. <laughs> but yeah, if you do an anthology, I'd totally be down. Yeah, no, dude, I, bro, I would, I would <clears throat> ask you and a uh, hawk. I, I don't know. I might as well ask <laughs> the writers in um, Patchworks and see what wacky ideas you guys would do. Because I know right now for this this generation, not this generation, but this century now, writers are the rock stars now, which you know I would understand because you know you guys have more flexibility. It's like all you gotta do is just write your scripts. You just make sure that the artist is on top of your project, then you just move on with. Here are two other stories that you guys are working on, which is pretty dope, you know. And also, you guys have more flexibility too <clears throat> on social media to keep yourself present. So now. I might get some water soon, dude, so I'll be right back. Just talking so much, man. Your throat is going to get dried up. <laughs> All right. I'll be back, dudes. Hang tight.
All right, dudes, I'm back. All right, so it's time to color the smoke. Going. Let's try to get rid of all of these snowflakes. For this rock here. Let me save my progress because that's important. Let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Trust me, Ichthys, when you look up the Judgment Knights of Thunder theme on YouTube, you will not be disappointed. Most definitely, Neil. I'll check that out. Jin Jin says, I grew up on WWF, and the older I've gotten, the more I've seen the crossover between comics and wrestling. <laughs> Those are loud gulps. <laughs> was it, man? Shoot. Yeah, no, I was drinking while I had my headphones on. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I love water. Water is a source of my secret powers. <laughs> That's how I color so good. <laughs> Drink lots of water. go awesome Let's see go in do that freaking sure get all of this smoke See, cut here. There.
gotta stay hydrated. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ginge. There's the, I knew it. Like this is actually a Hydro Man. Call Spider Man. Call the Army. Call Dominoes. <laughs> What's Dominoes gotta do? That's my question. <laughs> Dominoes. Oh, that's funny, man. You guys are too much, man. All right, now, Is that a mountain? Trying to distinct the uh, looks like a mountain, but oh well. It's indicated as a smoke. See what else can I do? Well, since the colors are gray, I don't know if I could do anything with the color gray. <clears throat> I mean, technically, Adobe or wheel. Let's find out what's the good complementary color. Let's try this color. See how it will go. Oh God, <laughs> here I go again. Hmm. Let's try Let's try this color. And there's so many whites going on. Dang. So many snowflakes.
Okay, let me see. That is very interesting. I can select the freaking my smoke. Okay, there we go. Now I saw now I'm able to select it. Or I wasn't. Oh wait, never mind. I think it's the same. I think we're having the same problem. That sucks, man. I can't even select my own friggin' flats. This is the odd part of Clip Studio. You can't really select all these flats. So if I want to make it a little bit more lighter, let's try that. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Basically stuck at this point, so what I'll do is you not know, select just only the <clears throat> canisters. What the flip, man? Gosh dang it. Alright. No way, we're gonna compromise. I made so much progress, I refuse to start all over again. Okay, now, let me see, don't worry, ick this. Your secret is safe with me. Just don't kidnap Mary Jane again. Listen, man, that redhead has a has a coming, okay? With her goofy four-eyed boyfriend. Okay. All I can say is uh she's thirsty for me. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm liquid. Oh man. I'm sorry guys. It's like once it's this is about to be one in the morning. That's it, man. There is no turning back. What color should I color her freaking gun? <laughs> That's a tough part is coloring guns. Because, I mean, you can honestly do whatever, but I don't want to be too blended in with the boot now. I can't. The freaking, there we go.
I kind of don't want to be too blended in. When we finish the stream, just only just the flat colors. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because I honestly want to go all out. What we'll do, we'll give her like <clears throat> something brown. Maybe now we'll change it because there's already a brown. Hmm. They're like challenges. What we do here. You see, well played, Ichthus. <laughs> Wait, Goofy Four Eyed Boyfriend? Shawnee Cruz? <laughs> oh man, Shawnee Cruz. You know, where the heck do you think of this material, man? I just want to know what the heck goes on in that cranium of yours, dude. Could you just think of something so funny? I would honestly would not think it would ever exist until now. Hey, you. Now. Bam. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Don't worry guys, we're close. We're getting close. She doesn't need to color this freaking gun. Gosh dang it, come on. There we go. Yeah, this thing is just not too futuristic. But oh, wait. 
know what? I gotta look into my reference. I wonder if it's this gun. Let me check this out. Huh, funny enough, it's not even that one. Yeah, but Gary did a fantastic job doing this one. This looks freaking dope. Alright, so now we know it's not that gun. Hopefully I'm not getting in trouble showing these pictures to you guys. Because these are one of the references that uh, Frequency Girl emailed to me. Bam. Okay, dudes, let's try and darken this a little bit more. See, what's risk? Confidentially, Shawnee Cruz is actually the super psionic hero riser man. Huh. Is he? I'm sorry, Ichthy. I'll have to kill you now. <laughs> Whoa. I'll take over the channel in your memory. No. Neil Stark can join as a co host. <laughs> Well, have fun. Rest in peace, bud. No. Well, guys, it was great knowing you. This is officially the last episode of Sunday Funday Coloring. Um, yeah, I, I, I honestly did not expect this to come. Um, it was sudden. You know, my lawyers suck at reading contracts, but yeah, that's what happens, guys. Just read the fine print. Um, yeah. Uh, when I learn of this this um, situation, uh, get better lawyers. <laughs> that, that's that's the moral of the story. Just get better lawyers. So it's gonna be. Um, I I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be gonna be Jin's channel so he can technically change the channel's name so 
I have no obligation of this channel anymore. So I'm sorry, guys. Once this once this stream is over, that's it, man. It's it's the final episode. No more, no more Sunday fun day colorings. It'll be Sunday sad day colorings with Ginge and uh, Neil Star Productions. <laughs> Oh man, thank you guys so much for just staying super late <laughs> watching my shenanigans. Really do appreciate your company and my sanity. Go. It was a shock to everyone. Yeah, dude. It was even a shock to me, and I'm the host of this dang show. Sounds like a plan. Don't worry, Ichthus. I'll make my first crossover story in your honor. <laughs> Please do, man. No, well, we'll keep the brand in your honor. You've done all the hard work already. Phew. Okay, good. At least my name is still there. Oh, I know. We will shoot your ashes out of a cannon into the Everglades. Oh, my God. That would be epic. <laughs> Listen, man. If you could go the extra mile, okay, Ginge? Okay, do the extra mile. You just have my ashes say the word um, total excellence, and we will – dude, that's a perfect, perfect <laughs> way to end it all. Just my ashes just say total excellence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what is going on <laughs> all right I think I'm confident enough to say uh, we can finally start doing shadows <laughs> All right, let me save my progress, right?
Okay, now. Now the fun part, we're just doing the shadows. So let's go and we'll do some shadow work. Let's go and color her top. Mm. All right, now okay, awesome. So let's select the pants. Pants are pretty important, at least now with the turn off the freaking. How funny. There's some parts that didn't go completely green. We will change that right now. Okay. See the line work? Perfect. Now, we'll just keep it dark. Oh shoot, I even selected for gloves. Well, let's get it done. All right, let's start calling her gloves now. We'll definitely darken her hands here. up a bit all right They will even make an RPG production so we never forget where we came from. <laughs> There's a gingers, and I used to work in a funeral home, so maybe I'm channeling some of that energy, but I'm pretty sure we can make that work. <laughs> oh my god. 
This is a cool fun fact. There's a oh, that's even better. Total Excellence Production T E P. Yeah, most definitely, dudes. Give her some nib, bro. Come on. <laughs> I can't, man. This is PG 13. That's all as far as I can go. PG 13. There's no nib action. I don't think it's acceptable for um I don't think you might even have approval with nefarious. I think there's boundaries, man. All right, now. Time for some shadow work. Oh shoot, I didn't select her other part. See, is everything selected? No, I gotta select her fingers. Oops. That's it. <laughs> That's all you selected? There we go. Oh shoot! Now I realize her arm has a tattoo. Gosh dang it, man! Learning something new every day. Oh, freaking A. See, this is why I hate is I selected on the wrong layer. See? Okay, gotta rewind back. Yeah, no. Okay. Now, uh, what else? Gotta select that again. Is there anything else I need to select again? Okay, that's it. Alrighty, now. Now that I'm in the right layer, I think I should have the appropriate. Okay. 
Fine. We keep our nipples to ourselves, I suppose. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully I don't get in trouble with the fairies after he, 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 wa he watches this. <laughs> it's becoming an Adult Swim type of content now. <laughs> Now, let's put some depth into her lips. Oh, the brown will still be good. Oh, somewhat. Let's go with so like that. Okay, now. Darken a little bit. You don't think you'll be able to see the little details I'm doing, but I take full responsibility. Sorry, Neff. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Nefarious. It's all Ginger's fault. I'm just an innocent bystander as a host of the show. I have no control over my people. The people have their own voices. I am just but of, of a simple host that just love his... Oh, excuse me, guys. This is loves the chat. Oh, excuse me. All right, now.
Oh shoot, I totally forgot I got uh, textures for skin. Dang it. Oh well, maybe next time. Alright, now play around with some some brushes. Okay, cool. Ooh, that's a big no for me. Nope. There we go. Yeah, thank you guys for pulling through this whole stream, guys. Truly do appreciate it. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Thank you for bringing with me this freaking long. Ooh. That's too dry.
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> and then again. And did I select him? Did it, this thing was selected correctly? Let me turn off that. Whatever. What I'll do next is that. Already, let's see. Oh, there's rust going on. Do I have? I think I have. I have like a brush where it shows that there's rust. Can be wrong. Guess I don't have it. Dang it. Oh well. Oh wait, hold on. Just going through my brushes. Bear with me, dudes. I truly appreciate your patience with me. Especially how long this stream is going. This has been the longest stream ever in record. See, no sweat, bro. Just hanging out. <laughs> you know, if you, let me see, if your duties, her hair red, she could pass as Zara, Zaron from Cobra. Uh oh. Don't tempt me, Neil. <laughs> it's 1 30 in the morning here. Getting work done here too, so it's nice to have someone to work alongside as motivation in this digital age. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, most definitely, man. It's it's truly an honor, man. I mean I'm glad that you feel motivated through me. So same here. Oh, you guys are the best, man. 
bro fist. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be bro fisting you, Ginge. Hold up. Let me put my camera back on. Let's see, bro fist. Okay, who else? Who else? We got a new bro fist to you too, Neil. All right, backing out. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm planning on getting uh, an Apple 21 inch and looking at the specs, man, I'm pretty impressed. So don't be surprised because even with, with the uh, computer, it comes with a 1080p camera. So uh, the quality of the videos is going to be a, going to be a huge game changer. I'll tell you that much, dudes. <laughs> So once my birthday comes, man, I'm upgrading my stuff. Because now that I'm getting a lot of work coming, I have to. So I got to take care of my stuff. And trust me, with all the commissions I'm getting, I think I'll be able to afford a new computer. And then I'll gain that money back real quick. I'll tell you that much. Like you'd be surprised, dudes, how many people are asking for colorists. So I think I I made a great call in my career choice. Okay. Oof. Alright, now we're going to do some little bit of highlights here and there. Not too crazy, but we'll add some highlights. Oh, hell yeah. I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, it got better, better luck with the tank top than it did with all the other colors. Go ahead and highlight the boots. All right, cool. Huh, that's really odd. Oh, you know what the flip I did not do? I did not do any shadows in her hair. I think I was gonna supposed to change it. Let me change it really quick, dudes. Cause I feel like it's a little too much. There you go. Looks way more realistic. 
Okay, now let's add some shadows to that really quick. There's one for hair. The heck is the hair? Okay, I guess not. There you go, hairbrush. There you go. If you guys can look at it closely, you can see what the heck I'm doing. Freaking love Trent Canuga's brushes, man. It's so freaking useful. I just gotta be very, very careful because looks like explosions in the air. Okay, see, oh my god. See the little scratchy scratches. Oops, gosh dang it. Once I overdo the pressure, it gives this weird. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. This looks so dope. I'm going to try again with her skin. Because I do have digital paintings where it kind of like helps me advance coloring skin and stuff. Oh my god. Oh jeez. See what I mean? It's very rough. I think I'm done experimenting <laughs> with these advanced brushes for now. Now when I need more. Ginger Newton. All right, though. I'm out. My eyes hurt. <laughs> Great talking with you guys. I'll see you around. You too, Ginge. I think, I think it's a good time to end. I think hit everything I need to hit with this piece. I don't think it's perfect, but it's freaking about to be two in the morning soon, so I think it's good. Hopefully the fairies likes it. I'm gonna switch cameras dudes.
thank you dudes so much for watching this longest stream ever <laughs> it's three hours and 11 minutes so dudes thank you all again for watching from beginning to end or those i've watched halfway through or watching it pre-recorded you guys ooze of excellence as always guys remember that to stay excellent god bless dudes and have an awesome monday <laughs>